Hey guys, Keith here. This is part two of our advanced flashlight assembly video. Um, I have to apologize, I kind of screwed up when I was building the light engine. I'm not sure how much of that video is actually usable. Hopefully enough where you get an idea of what's involved. But uh, just in case, let's zoom in on the light engine and I'll point out the, all the pieces parts. First we start off with, a, it's called an XR can. You pick that up at uh, the sandwich shop, which is um, where I got all the parts for this build. Um, inside here we have the the Cree LED, which was mounted to a star, which uh, I'm sure is really hard to see. This white goo is Arctic Alumina, and that is a potting compound. And what it does is it basically fills up all the space inside between the, the LED on the star and the driver board and uh, helps transfer the, the heat energy out into the the XR can into the head and into the body of the flashlight. Um, not so much needed with this LED but if you were using something a little higher power like a XPG or an XPE you might want it. Uh, next up we have my poor soldering job which again hard to see. Um, these are silicone or teflon coated wires and they run from the driver board through the, the potting compound and are soldered onto either side of the LED. Uh, the driver that I used was a Bad Boy Next Gen that is again available at the sandwich shop. This is a Bad Boy Next Gen 500. Um, seems to drive the lead or seems to drive the LED more than adequately so that was a good buy. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my lubricant. Now first let's put the, the light engine into the head. And as you recall, we've got the reflector already in there. So this is simple. It just goes in and threads right into place. So you get it in and then I'm just gonna grip the, the side of that XR can with my Leatherman pliers and snug it up. Battery in the tube and now it's time for the lubricant. Now we just want a little bit on the threads so I'm going to put kind of a glob there and then on the opposite side a smaller glob. That's probably enough for the whole thing but you get what you get. Then we take our head and give it a few twists back and forth to help distribute the lubricant. And all the lubricant does is make it easier for you to screw and unscrew the head. And it also keeps the O-ring, which seals the moisture out of the head, um, from drying out. You don't want your O-ring to dry out because then it'll crack and moisture or dirt can get in. All right, and there we go. That is the assembled product. I'm going to cut video here and go grab a few things. When we come back, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all turned on. All right, I'm back. Now, I have a few things laid out on my table here. And you might be asking yourself, what do $20 bills, a highlighter, and a piece of paper share in common? And why are they in this video? Well, I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to unplug my light, make it a little bit darker in here. Now, I have several regular white LED flashlights, so I decided to go with an ultraviolet LED. And you can see here, hopefully, that it makes the, the strip in the, the $20 bill glow. And then I turn it on. Hopefully this is showing up. It really makes that yellow highlighter pop. So that's kind of cool. Um, other things you can do with a UV LED, you could uh, take it to a hotel and inspect your, your bed sheets in your bathroom, make sure everything is cleaned to your liking. Um, use it on money to check and see whether it's counterfeit or not. 
a lot of state IDs have um, holograms and whatnot that only appear under UV LED or UV light. Now, remember when we did the, the tritium insta install here in the bezel, I used those black lights to cure the the Norland epoxy. This doesn't go down in wavelength far enough. This is um, 395 to 410 nanometers. Uh, Norland needs to be right in the 375 range. So it won't cure the optical adhesive, but it will make those tritiums glow um, because they've got the phosphor inside the, the cylinder. There we go. So an interesting LED build. Um, like I said, I'm sorry. I I don't know what I did wrong, but the uh, I'll, I'll try to salvage as much of the light engine build as I can, and I'll put that here in this video when we get two parts. Um, I do have a project coming up. I ordered the parts yesterday. They should show up tomorrow or Friday, or rather Thursday. Cross your fingers, Thursday. And we're going to take our time and go through that one. It's a LED replacement that should be pretty accessible to just about everyone, low skill level, um, and I'm gonna hopefully make up for, for what I didn't show you here. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, if you have questions or comments, leave them below. Have a great night.